Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Genesis Tips and Tricks videos. Today I'll be looking at some big team battle Infinity Slayer on the map Exile. This is the second Exile Perfection that I have uploaded and I just want to walk you guys through it. So off the start here I'm going to be going for rockets on the right hand side of the map charging for them and you can see my teammates are behind me. One of them is going to be going towards the Mantis which spawns right over there. So right here I'm going to go ahead and grab the rockets and I want you to notice how passively I do play with them as I do see four people who are top middle right now. I'm going to try to go around here and maybe jump on this box but then I decide okay maybe my mantis might need some help so I go back here. I'm curving around wondering if anyone will drop down at me but it doesn't seem to happen very much here. I'm waiting for some people to make some moves so I'm just going to end up backing down once again. You can see the railgun go off there as I know the enemy player had a railgun because the railgun does spawn. Um, and literally like right in front of uh, their base in this general area so one of them is going to have a railgun for sure I kill one of them and I kill the second I damage the second guy with that rocket now that's a hologram thankfully um, before I was able to fire that rocket back doing damage on that player uh, right here you can see the hologram shimmer and that does mean that it is a hologram another way you can tell and it's very obvious from this view is that a hologram will never be carrying a secondary weapon. Also, this hologram is carrying a railgun, so I know that this player has a railgun. Um, this secondary weapon would either be on this player's back, no weapon visible, or on his thigh, just to the right, right here, okay? No weapon visible. So this is clearly a hologram. There's no way I'm going to fire a rocket at it. Um, so I'm looking at these guys top middle, watching them very closely on my radar. I see another camo guy approaching off to the right. Notice two of my teammates just died trying to get control of Banshee Window. We're now doubling the score 10 to 5, and I'm going to try to push up and get some kills here, as it seemed to have enemy players need to vacate it top middle. So I'm going to try to nail this guy across the map with the rockets. I do get two kills here before circling back, and this is a really good route that I'm running right now. I'm circling back through the cave system um, oftentimes, and this is really, really true with a lot of players that I've seen. They will try to push down from here, and after um, maybe shooting some people over here, they'll try to s linger around too long in this area. This is brutal, an area to try to get some kills through, because not only do you have enemy players spawning over here, as you can clearly see, um, but you have players also spawning on the right-hand side against this wall and over here in this general area and it's just a really bad idea to try to um, look at through this thing. Even arguably sitting right here um, people could shoot you from uh, that spawn point. So I just would recommend not ever staying in this location for any lengthy period of time unless that is your base and your teammates are already spawning there and you know the enemy team isn't there. Right here I see this um, camo guy. I'm going to go ahead and fire a rocket and get that kill. I missed this rocket unfortunately, but I'm once again just going to curve back around through this lower tunnel area. It's really unused, so you can really run around there quite safely. I make the jump back to top mid here. I see the kneeler, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up for my secondary, probably trade it for something else later on. I see these these lockout players, so I'm going to go ahead and jump and try to get the headshot, and I do. Now these two players in Banshee Window, and um, I just play this really, really well. I'm just back using my two grenades, not the great effectiveness, but I'm just going to go ahead and back up because there's really no no reason to try to get these guys, um, you know, to kill me. There's no reason to charge in there when there's two players against one. So I'm going to throw grenades off of this little ledge, try to get some wing. Um, this guy ends up backing up because of my grenade. You can see he runs all the way back. This guy tries to go with the hologram. I'm not fooled at all. And I'm just waiting. I have to unfortunately reload here. This guy jumps out and I get the kill finally. So now it's one player versus two, and I'm going to call down a railgun here. And now I see, oh my gosh, you know, multiple enemy players have pushed up into this window. Now if these players were smart, they would be um, looking at me on their radar and going, holy crud, this guy's going to be pushing us. We need to get some grenades off. And you can do see some players, some of the players do throw some grenades eventually here. But um, it's really puzzling because um, when you see a player with a railgun like this, you don't want to do what these players are doing. And that is peeking out. Um, and the reason why being is because anyone who's good using the railgun, anyone who knows how to use the railgun effectively, will be very, very likely to charge it behind the wall before popping out and firing it. In other words, as soon as you see the player, their shot or bolt is going to be off. Okay, they're going to f have fired it. All right, and I, I mean off as in they've already fired it off. They've already fired it off at you. 
and you're already going to be dead. The railgun is literally milliseconds um, of lag uh, before it hits your target. It's almost, um, it, it feels like an almost hit scan weapon, um, to be honest. Now I get this guy for the double kill, and this third player seems to have kind of mysteriously vanished here. I think he pushed back down to their base as I see my teammate die over there in this general area. I fire a long range railgun shot, probably wasn't the best idea. This guy's one shot, unfortunately, but I do end up cleaning up the railgun. Better safe than sorry. Um, now my teammates are pushing back in here with over overshield. I can see these guys long range, but I don't really have a whole lot of long range of weapons here. So I'm just going to try to get out of this area, get back to the top middle area, because I know that's where I'm going to be the most useful to put this railgun and battle rifle. See my teammate um, shooting some pure there and unfortunately this was a, a hologram i should have recognized that i should have just switched weapons there to try to get rid of that guy hologram again and i get him with killing frenzy i see this uh, sticky that pops up so i'm like okay hey i might go and get that and a player who doesn't know what they're doing would probably just rush across the map for that but i'm well aware the enemy players could be spawning this general area and of course the enemy team has a mantis over here so i'm going to be very cautious as I try to put some shots on these players to get another kill here. I'm going to go underneath the bridge instead of directly over it. Now I see this player does have rockets. I believe my teammate does kill him right here. There he goes and he grabs those rockets. My teammate's trying to peek out with the Spartan Lancer to kill that Mantis. We got a rocket hog pushing up on our right. To this player, I'm going to try to get some shots into him. Unfortunately, he has no idea what he's doing. Or should I say, unfortunately to that player. Very fortunate for me as I pick up that kill. We've doubled the enemy team's score, plus two kills, and or three kills now. And this guy lifts up the top middle, and I'm just, again, hanging back kind of behind my teammates. Um, letting them sort of do the long range work as I try to pick off people um, who are pushing a little bit too far. Um, throughout no part of this game, believe it or not, was I ever actually um, thinking, oh, I'm going to get the perfection. Um, this was me playing normally, believe it or not. Um, even with the rush into the Banshee Tunnel where two people were there and I backed down, this is me playing completely normal. Um, if I was on the perfection, I was going for it. I don't. You wouldn't see me make plays like I'm about to make, where I'm challenging a guy who obviously has railgun. I heard that before I even entered this tunnel area. Now he backs down, and it, this is a lot of luck, to be honest. Um, this player just simply has no idea how to use the railgun, and I have every single idea about how to use the thruster pack against the railgun, as you're going to see me do here. Now that I'm just standing very still, this player uh, comes out and. Um, for whatever reason, decides that firing the railgun at this rock is going to do a lot of good, which is completely untrue. Um, I, I mean, I could be standing, you know, right here, but that's really dumb. You would want to fire it past the rock, just in case the player happened to peek out and the railgun hits my left arm and explodes me as I'm peeking out a little bit. But as you can see right here, I know this player has more railgun shots, so I thrust back to the side right before he jumps out, and I can hear this all with my Astro A40 headset. Um, for those of you, you may be able to hear some of this, but it's really, really nice, as I back up the film here, um, that you can be able to hear exactly when this player charges their railgun. Um, I can hear that literally across this area. I can hear when this player is charging the railgun, so I know exactly when to thrust your pack. So I'm popping out here. I'm just going to try to take out this player before he can um, get another thrust pack. And I do get four railgun shots, which is really nice. Must have had a lot of railgun ammo here. I'm just going to put some shots in the enemy players spawning at their base. Now, if you guys are not already familiar with, um, you want to keep the enemy on their side. And this is an ideal position that we've been in this entire game from the beginning. If you haven't been able to tell, the enemy team has not spawned on our side, or specifically in our base. Once you get control of Banshee Window, and then you get control of B base, you're pretty much golden because the enemy team is either going to spawn on the left side of their base, inside their base or along a gray wall, okay? And this is optimal because they're on the lower end of the map, okay? Um, they specifically, especially on the right-hand side, they have to work upwards, uphill to where you are. And holding the, this wreckage area um, with a light rifle and looking at this angle and this angle and being up here in top Banshee with a light rifle and then having some sort of weapon like the fuel rod, as this player um, aptly points out, and the, of course, controlling the Spartan lasers, as you see both of my teammates doing here in B-Base. B-Base would be the best way to um, annihilate vehicles from, because um, you, the like Mantis wouldn't be able to come actually come into this area. Um, the only way I've seen the Mantis effectively you, shoot this area is if he's walking over here and he can like shoot a little bit um, up there from this angle. 
but um, that's just how much people spawned. I get a headshot for the running riot. Just wanted to explain a little bit uh, about that on Meltdown. And you see me have, you know, not even called down my ordinance here. And the reason why is because um, I am very likely to get killed by this Banshee if I don't pick it up. Um, I'm already in Banshee. I just need to go ahead and grab it. There's only 15 kills remaining. So I'm going to fire a um, Kirod shot across the map, or Banshee bomb, should I say, and get to pick up the one of only two kills I do get with the Banshee. It's kind of a risky maneuver pushing out um, into the enemy team's territory, but you can see only one of the enemy team has quit. Um, it's very unusual that I don't get gameplays. Like, uh, same guy using the hologram there. Very unusual that I get a perfection gameplays where the entire enemy team doesn't um, whittle down to only uh, three or four people. So don't think that all my perfections are worth watching. Not at all. For whatever reason, the screen is choosing to lag right now. Hold, hold on. Let me try to pick that up. There you go. It was lagging for whatever reason. So guys, I hope you liked this um, film. I know there's a lot of big team battle going up on my channel lately. It just seems to be what I'm enjoying more recently. I do have some other things planned, but I have several more big team battle gameplays to go. Um, I, I mainly play big team battle because I find that more than four people want to play with me at a time. And so that's why I've been uploading a little bit more big team battle recently. Um, so guys, let me know what you want to see me upload. Let me know whether um, you like this or don't like it or whatever it happens to be, whatever's on your mind, let me know and I'll try to make it happen. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, helps um, keep up the popularity and help people find the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Carry the fire. Peace.